Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot, a man with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. And I'm beginning this one in the district of Selby on Lumby Hill. And if you think you've seen that road sign before, well you have, or something similar to it, because there's another one that says Lumby Hill down there. And of course, it's the name of this road right here. Now, the last time you would have seen Lumby Hill, I would have been in Hillam. And today I've come to the village just to the north of Hillam, which works very closely with that village. These two are like inseparable twins. This is Monk Fryston. Now, of course, normally I would take a shot of the school, the new school, but uh, I've come at a time when the kids are outside, so I don't really want to be pointing the camera into the school grounds. It wouldn't look fantastic, but it's right there behind me, as you can see. Uh, and of course, the old school is still standing as well. Right, let's go and uh, head more into the village now, heading this way down Lumby Hill towards the centre. So on the wall of the Crown Inn, there's something called the Monk Fryston Heritage Trail. This is quite cool. Didn't know anything about this before I came here. So I'm gonna take a few shots of this with my phone camera and potentially include some of this in the picture bit.
So a little bit later we'll be seeing something railway related here, which is on the road towards South Milford, which is the parish to the north. There's a railway yard called South Milford Sidings, which belongs to South Milford. But just down from that, there's the old Monk Fryston station, which hopefully I'll be able to capture on the camera. Now we're heading into uh, Monk Fryston Square and I have to admit, before I came here, this is the part of the village which I was looking forward to being in the most. And if I turn the camera around you'll probably see why because those who have been following the channel for a while know how much I like thatch cottages. Okay, that brings us to the cemetery, which is behind these gates here at the east end of Monk Fryston. There's a nice plaque on the wall here. Monk Fryston Cemetery was opened in May 1874. You wouldn't believe how many times I've looked online to try and find the dates of when cemeteries are open and how many times I've come up dry, disappointed. It's not one of those things that seem to be readily available online, but uh, here at Monk Fryston, they've actually decided to put it on a plaque on the cemetery gates, which is helpful for me. Let's go and have a look inside.
Okay, so we're nearly back at the school where we started. Uh, the only place I haven't really been is up Fryston Common Lane, but all I can see on the map up there of any interest is Priory Park Farm, which I believe is a horse riding school, and I'll save that for today's picture bit. Now I'm going to hop back into the car and we're going to head up towards South Milford to try and find a little bit of railway history. So as you saw a few shots ago, the gates are open here and uh, it would appear that they usually lock because there is a padlock on the right hand side gate. So there's clearly some work or something going on down there um, and I'm not about to trespass that far into the sidings because, you know, <laughs> it's uh, not illegal. So that's uh, pretty much it for the railway station or what used to be the railway station and now I'm going to direct you towards today's picture bit to catch all those other little bits of Monk for Iceton that I haven't covered. Here it comes.
Well, it would appear I was absolutely right not to go down that track because a lorry, as you can see, has just uh, arrived and closed the gates and I would have been stuck. <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't do that. It, like I said, it's private anyway, I would think. So uh, not legal. That's just about gonna do it for the parish of Monk Fryston. And that's another one down in Selby. And don't forget, you can see another one of these Selby parishes if you tune into the channel at half past two next Friday. But for now, this has been the parish of Monk Fryston and I've been Andy, otherwise known as the Village Idiots. And I'm out.